Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Triple Two Tarot, and I'm, today I'm doing your end of June 2019 general love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. Uh, if you are Aquarius or if you are a cross watcher of Aquarius, I will just pick up the energies here, guys. So just take what resonates with you and leave the rest. These messages are not for everyone, obviously. If you want to get a personal reading, you, you can come to me. And details are given on my channel. Please, guys, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, Triple Two Tarot. Let's see. Ten Moon Rising Venus in Aquarius. Okay. So your first card here is what's? Let's see what's the main energy between you and this person right now going on. A religious factor, right? The first card here. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So I also feel like um, definitely there is a dif uh, differences of. Uh, uh, religion okay and there is also differences of ages right uh, someone is younger and the other person is uh, mature because the younger person has still have to uh, be in balance and they have to still a lot of things have to understand and learn right because this is a spiritual journey with someone and you are also connecting with someone spiritually reconciliation hmm. someone from your past is returning to your life it's happening right it's happening because mercury is in retrograde so past is coming and also you have released your ex so i'm not i will not say because this is not your ex because <laughs> someone is ex coming for, towards you so i would say that if this is your energy that could be your feeling like this person will um, never come back to you or they don't love you because you want to reconcile with someone or someone wants to reconcile with you but they are holding back because they feel like you don't want to be with them or you feel like you will never gonna reconcile with your partner right because uh, I feel like this is definitely you are connecting with someone spiritually and you feel like this is my soulmate that you have a really spiritual and soulmate connection with someone and you want to reconcile reunite with that person but uh, I feel like you really really release uh, you have to release your fears your anxiety right your burden you feel like uh, you're tired you're exhausted right but you have to believe on this that it will happen and it's happening because it's a true love bottom of the deck this is the romance of a lifetime told you already you feel like this is your true love and uh, if you are a single i feel like true love is entering in your life but you have to release your ex first to get this person in your life right so let's see what's uh Tarot is saying about you and this person, what's happening between you and this person. Let's see. Let's get here. So let's see, Aquarius, how you're feeling toward this person and what to expect in these days. End of June. Nine of Swords, yeah, I told you. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Could be you're dealing with someone like that. You also have the Justice card here. Could be Libra you are dealing with. So I uh, told you again. It looks like you're really exhausted and tired for something. You're waiting uh, for your fair result. You're waiting for the truth to come out because you're tired and you're sleeping. You're not sleeping in the night. It's told you already because uh, two cards is telling me here that you are stressful. You're in anxiety. You're exhausted. You're tired because you really want to be with this person. You want to reconcile with your partner, with your lover, with your love interest, whatever it is. And could be for some of you that this is a marriage involved, right? Because the Libra is here. So someone um, wants to save the relationship. Someone wants to uh, save the marriage. Nine of Swords. It's, it's, it's a, uh, the Justice also talk about that uh, things will get better. You will f get fair result. Don't worry. Things will turn, will turn in your favor. Next to the, yeah. Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, I feel that you really want to commit with someone. Or you really are waiting for someone to offer you love. Um, offer you commitment and I feel this is coming ace of cups you are in love with this person uh, with the justice card here I feel like you really want a partnership now and uh, you want to reunite with this person but because the ace of cups here you are in love with this person I also feel like for some of you that um, the definitely ace of cups talk about new person could be Pisces Cancer Scorpio could be Libra I feel entering in your life Aquarius right if you're a single this is for single people love is coming towards you but you have to release your ex first your anxiety your past hurts whatever it is for single people you have to release your ex you have to release your uh, um, anxiety fears right and you have to be open towards new love new people right 
So I and for others of you who are in a relationship with someone, you are in love with someone and you want partnership, you want love. You want love and you're really stressful about this person because they're not offering you love and you're tired of waiting. Let's see the other person you are dealing with, how they are feeling towards you. Yeah, they are coming very slow. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, Knight of Pentacles could be Taurus, right? But I feel this person is taking a lot of time. It looks like they're not coming, but they are coming. Very coming, very slow. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So definitely age difference here. Could be mother involved. Could be you are dealing with someone who is already married and they have children, right? For some of you, not for everyone. Because you can see the age difference between... The, there is a Knight of Pentacles and this is the Queen. I also told you, because someone is, in, someone is really, really mature and wise in this connection. They know that. How to handle the situation. They know that how to control um, the love and the relationship. But the other person is Knight, right? They are learning. Knight of uh, Pentacles. They're coming very slow, but they're learning. It's a process. Could be uh, money issues here, right? Someone is right now focusing on their work and their business, right? Their, uh, their focus is right now. I also feel like someone has to give the money to their mother. They have responsibility toward their mother. I don't know, because Queen of Pentacles is a mother. Um, for some of you, it's involved another person. Uh, could be, could be, but, but I, I don't see it. But I feel a bit because I, I also feel like the mother is here, right, um, fighting for the custody of their children. Yeah, it's a case of the children uh, that mother is um, waiting for the custody of their children, right? Uh, the mother is waiting for their child protection, right? Whatever it is, it's a single mother. Is our, could be single father, right? They're waiting for the custody of children and their focus is right now potential or protect, protection of security of their children. The justices also talk about definitely um, court cases like the paperwork and the court. And I feel that they, uh, they will win it. They will win it. Someone is really stressful about it. You will win it, don't worry. So two of swords, someone is really confused about this love here because uh, they don't know what to do because they are in love with someone but they are on the crossroad because the other person is not coming or they are taking a lot of time. It looks like they are not coming. They are taking a lot of time, slow time, slow, slow, slow and you, you are tired. The other person is tired with the two of uh, sword here, right? They are tired and they are exhausted because they don't know what this person wants from this because they are in love with this person. And I feel this is you, Aquarius. Could be cross watcher. But I feel that someone here is in love, but they're confused that what other person wants from them because they're coming or they're taking a lot of time to express the love. That's why this person is exhausted because they want this person to come toward them and offer them something solid and stable, but this person is not coming, right? They're taking a lot of time. Let's see what to expect. Yeah, judgment. I see the reconciliation. Again, I told you. Told you the judgment. Could be Scorpio you're dealing with, right? Could be Sagittarius. Reconciliation, judgment. It's happening. You guys will be reunited. Look at this. The judgment. Change is happening. It's, it will happen. Justice here. Justice is serving you. You will get the fair results. You will get the justice in this connection. If you prayed a lot, you really prayed a lot, you really be patient with this person, you are waiting, you are praying, it's coming. Two cards is telling me, our confirmation here is that you guys will reconcile. Reconciliation and the judgment, it's happening. You guys are coming very soon. But I feel that first, uh, someone really need to release their anxiety. If they are, have fears, anxiety, and they're stressful and they feel like uh, they're never going to re reconcile. It's, it's wrong. You have to be positive about it. You have to be positive about it. You have to believe that you are in love with this person. You have to believe in this love. Right? I also feel like someone is waiting for the other person to commit to them. Someone is also um, waiting for uh, this person to, to open up about their emotions and feelings. I feel they will with the judgment. Yes, they will. This is the answer, yes. Basically, whatever the, your question is in your mind, this is yes, right? So I really hope it resonated with you guys. Like, share, and subscribe my channel. God bless you all.